Previously on Gears. We have a very yes. sensitive subject to speak about today. Yes. It says, hello, Dottie. I love my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. But she started picking up some weight. Uh-huh. And it's just not great for me. Like oh, not okay. two kilos, more like 10. Okay. She's becoming really miserable and has started eating crap. Mm. We're not exactly the most active couple in the world, but I have let it all go to rubbish and I feel like she is. Oh, I have or I haven't let it all go to rubbish? I, do, I have, haven't, le- I haven't, haven't. I, yeah, yeah, haven't. Like she doesn't care anymore. Should I say something? Ah, no! No! <laughs> no! No! No, I say yes. Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. okay, Why let's hear from it? the expert. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, as long as as long as we as long as we all know our roles on the show. <laughs> Listen, you know what? Every time someone complains, especially guys, you know, guys have this amazing thing. They can look like they rolled out of a chip packet and drinking five liters of beer on the way out, and you know, rolled yes. in a little pig pen of McDonald's and and Mac whatever, and then they can still look at women and be like. Mm, she's got a little bit of extra ass around there. I don't like that very much. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Very good point. So um, so I just want to get this out the way quickly. Um, if you feel like your partner is not to your liking physically, um, I would like you to take off all your clothes and really scrutinize your own body. And if you have the best body in the world and you're a size 10, and or like what that number 10 like the Bo Derek 10 or whatever yes um then uh, then awesome but if you're sporting a little bit of flabbiness somewhere maybe not the best physique maybe a bit of a belly mm. maybe just uh just figure out how you would like someone to scrutinize your body before you're going to open your mouth and say something potentially All right, can we partner. stop can we stop talking about me <laughs> So with that out the way, yeah. nobody just suddenly picks up 10Ks for no reason. You know, yes. so you're either like, there's, I would imagine, apart from the fact that couples, when they get their meats and they get all cushy, you know, there's a bit of that like, um, what do they call it? Like first love flab or like holiday weights or whatever, mm. honeymoon weights. When, you know, you guys aren't you're eating out a lot and you're partying a lot and you're snuggling and the amount of sex you have is never going to burn off the calories that you need to burn off for that sort of stuff. Okay. So, um, so assuming that's not it, like you haven't kind of both let yourselves go in the little, you know, blissful nest that is your love. Um, a lot of women, when they go on to contraceptives, will pick up weight. Um, so maybe it's a hormonal thing, like literally yeah. hormonal thing. Yeah. Um, or she is comfort eating. And then the problem isn't um, that she's eating too much or she's picking up weight. There's actually something that's bugging her. And so I think if you're going to, if you're going to actually sit down and talk about someone's weight, you need to deal with that in a way that isn't about their weight because it's not about their weight. It's about how you feel about that weight. Um, and then it's about how they're picking up that weight. Does that make sense? So if you're going to talk about mm. someone else's weight, first figure out why it's bothering you personally. So do you have a right to judge someone else? And then secondly, if she's suddenly picking up 10Ks, then there's something else that needs to be discussed. So maybe she's on medication, antidepressants. Is she drinking too much? Why is she drinking too much? Why is she eating too much? Or, so that's talking bit. Or, yeah. or maybe she's just very comfortable in the relationship and things she can do as she pleases yeah, and then does it matter if she wants to just get a little bit... Mm. Tabby. Okay, so there's the next thing. Yes. Um, you say that you're not a very active couple. Yeah. Well, then start getting active. Okay, so instead of going like, honey, I think you need to do some weight because your ass is getting too big. How about you start suggesting things that you can both do together? So instead of mm-hmm. lying on the couch and watching, you know, you know, weekend runs of, of series, why don't you go out and, you know, pick up a dance class or go exercise together or hit the gym together or start swimming together? Can we stop you know, talking about me again? <laughs> <laughs> so start... So start 
getting active yourself and start getting active as a couple. And what yeah. does your house look like? You know, are you eating out a lot? Are you eating takeaways a lot? Um, you know, do you eat the, are you also buying into that culture of just like letting shit slide and, you know, eating whatever? Mm -hmm. um, so, I, you know, I think there's, there's that to look at. Sort of, you know, how are you active as a couple and how can you make yourselves more active? I think that's a very, very good point because there is a there is a solution and that is get both get the both of you involved right. um, without to, trying to offend say? her. What are you going to say, Daisy? Um, two things. My yeah, first thing just was chicks just get fat. No, my first thing <laughs> is. Um, I that's totally, what Daisy said. No, I didn't. You shut she, your mouth, Sasha. She did. That's I do what she think said. that a lot of women, when they are comfortable, do pick up weight. And I, I don't think it is necessary. Like, I see it happen a lot. And yeah. if you met a guy and you looked good, even, I mean, you could have a couple of extra kgs. That's how you are. But I don't think it's necessary to get into that comfort zone and let yourself go. Just for your self-pride, too, number one. Right. And then number two, um, um, I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh no! That's okay. No, it's don't like worry. This is a regular thing. <laughs> no wait, let me think. <laughs> no, but I think that is. I think that's incredibly. It's a very good point. Um, it is a good point. I think people, you know, once they've found their their the one. Yeah. Um, and I think this is on on guys and girls' sides. You know, on on men and women's sides. I think women are maybe a little bit more kind of. Um, you know, comfortable and in slipping into the the tracksuit pants and the and the the slippers, and yet. You know, why not? If that's what it's about for you, then that's what it's about for you. Um, I just don't think that is uh, awesome. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm, kind of I'm agreeing with Daisy. Okay, yeah. I remembered my other thing. Yes, okay. I think it also depends on what kind of relationship you have with the person. Because, like, for with me, for instance, I say to Jake, Jake, tell me if I'm putting on weight before it becomes too much and it's a mission to get rid of it. So tell me if I'm picking up weight and then I know straight away. But he never does. Yeah, but okay, but that, that's, that's cool. You don't know when they're picking up weight. I mean, your girlfriend, reader, yeah. knows <laughs> that she has picked up weight. You don't have to tell her about it. Yeah, yeah. That's no, but, true. but 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 I think Daisy brings up a good point because she at least can sit there and say, "Listen, if you think that I, something's going on, then let me know." Maybe others aren't doing that. Then the boy becomes a little bit scared, doesn't want to say anything. Whereas now, if there is that situation, you can yeah. proactively sit and say, "You know what? Let's go for a walk uh, every afternoon, or let's do this, or let's do that, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. There, yeah, you at can least say you're that starting without saying, like, exactly without saying um, you're getting fat. You're repugnant and you're turning me off. Because you, <laughs> you, you don't want to do that. But also, the, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. It's I think very it's tough because we do take offense to the weight you topic. You see, Graham says the more penis, bounce yeah. per ounce. What, what? More, more bounce, bounce per ounce. ounce. Look, and also, I mean, it's as we're sensitive about our bodies, you know. Damn right. Uh, yes, stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think... You know, I think this goes for anybody, anybody. If you want to make any comments, and I mean, does you and your dude have got the agreements already. But mm. if there are people who, like, if you want to make a comment about your, your partner's body, then just kind of like double take and, and see how you would feel if someone said something about your body. I had mm. an ex who was incredibly critical about like every part of my body. It was very weird for me and it didn't feel great, you know. Um, and so I think when it comes to weights, you know she's picked up. She knows she's picked up. I think the ways to have a conversation aren't about the weight. So the conversation is like, honey, is something going on? Like, are you yes. feeling depressed? I've noticed this. Or maybe we can get more active. Yeah, that's Not very to true. Yeah. We need to fucking talk about this. Or <laughs> if, exactly. But or Sorry. if you are going to mention your partner's weight, make sure you are in another country. Or make sure that you are sporting a six-pack and... You know, a toned bum, and have something to say about your own physique. <laughs> you see it, Sasha. You take that off immediately, and make sure you it's don't bit, do it in front of other people. It's a bit then cold. It will be a fight. It's a little bit cold today. Oh, what? Sasha taking his clothes off in front of no. other people? To have a conversation. What have I done? <laughs> I don't take my clothes off in front of other people. Oh, you do. Never. Lies. Never. All right, Dottie. <laughs> I think that's I think it's very very uh, good advice. I hope he takes the advice and uh, maybe we hear from him and they would be a little bit more active.
Yes. Mm. Good dancing. Go Please dancing. make it a question like this next week, Dottie, because it's me and oh, you. It's just the two of them. Make it a proper mm. sexual one. No, we'll make... have little chats. Yeah. <laughs> make Some it a bonus do something that you're oh, comfortable with, you know? I'll be in the Drakensberg <laughs> listening listening on the, the live stream and oh I hope it's I hope it's a raunchy one. <laughs> Okay, goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye. Dottie. Balls.co.za.